Yeah. Time to expose the devil. I'm going to do it through a war game. Because I'm at war with the devil. So whenever I see his people, I quickly turn into a rebel. I want to devour these cowards. I think they got some type of power, mentality, none. They stupid. Ignorant motherfuckers. And I'm here to expose them. Ooh, I'm going to dust them. Turn them into particles. I'm going to sweep them away and put them in where the garbage is. Because that's what the garbage do. Oh, wait a minute. I tried to rhyme that real quick. I don't know how it sounded like. But yeah, you know what I mean. I got slow internet. So I can't fucking play the game. Let me see. I'ma expose the devil for ya. I'ma expose the game. I'ma expose the lies. I'ma leave them in shame. Yeah. People speaking with their minds. They never speak to you face to face. Yeah, they never speak to you face to face, right? And if they do, they do it in a whisper. When you're saying something, it be saying some shit, but in a whisper, you hear what I mean? I was just talking to this little quote-unquote kid I was talking to online, right? And he's telling me all type of shit every time I'm saying something, he's mumbling some shit. Every time I'm saying something, he's mumbling some shit. And he's cursing me, and he's doing this, and he's doing that. And I'm just exposing this little kid. And he's the devil, he's got the devil in him. He's acting just like the devil. He's, he's attacking me like the devil does. You know what I mean? There's a lot of them everywhere. Stupid ass kids that act dumb. You know those little kids that use a Naruto, right? They the most powerful. Think about that for a second. Why is that? Because the little kids are the dumbest. They don't know anything. You know the power they have by not knowing anything? You know how stupid they are? Little kid will do anything because he doesn't know anything. Right? Now you know who they are. The dummy your baby is, or you, not your baby is, you know, baby. You can still teach your baby something. A lot, actually. I remember when I was a baby, I was awake. And I mean, not just with my eyes open. When I was a baby, I already knew what life was about. I, I knew everything, I was pure. And then the devil comes and attacks you and puts your life, and then he makes you ignorant, that's what it is. When you're a baby, the moment you're born, the devil lets you know everything. Uh, well, he doesn't let you, you know. But he's not attacking you yet. And then he makes you ignorant and stupid. He doesn't let you know the truth. That's why sometimes when you see something, you know so much about it without you even knowing about it. Sometimes you look at something and you just know something. And when you don't know, that means that the devil got you. He's attacking you when you don't know how. That's what the devil's about, attacking you when you don't know how. Through secrets. 
He works in secret. Oh, they're telling me to shut up. Look, they telling me to shut up. The devils are talking as I'm talking right now. They kind of fed up. Man, fuck that. Oh, hold up. My accent just got... Man, fuck that. I buck back with the truth. Leave him on the floor. Dying because they know. They just don't want you to know. So they can attack you with the knowledge that will keep you from you. Say what? You have to kill me. Who's saying that? Oh, he's saying it from way over there because I exposed him already. Little kid, right? That's what they act like. Now you know what it is. The favorite tool of the devil is to use your kids. You know, because they don't know nothing. Do their friends, school, books, fantasy comic books. Then they use them against you. You know how many curses they put in comic books and you don't even know it? Stanley's a motherfucking wizard. He got your mind going. The motherfuckers, not even, it's Freemasons who's doing all of that. All of that through him. You know, stifling some energy so he could do what he do with kids. You know, my comic books. I'm not saying like pedophilia and shit. Like, I'm just talking about comic books. I ain't getting into that yet. That's like higher above in the secrets. Why you think they work in secret? The Illuminati? You think that's a conspiracy theory? Are Freemasons a, cons a conspiracy theory? There's a fucking Masonic Lodge in the fucking... Right next to the fucking White House in Washington, D.C. Is that a conspiracy theory? The Pyramid and I and the Dollar Bill? Is that one too? By the way, I was talking to the people in the game that, you know, they got they got to know too. Some of them are devils, some of, the, some of them are not, others don't have a clue. There's a lot of stupid, there's a lot of stupid people out there, dude. And the devil can use them against you.
见敌人。
How many lag switches we got here? Because damn, I can't. F okay, I forget. Sometimes when you got less people than the other team, you start lagging and you can't play right. I forget that. You know, because they, they can never figure that out. The lagging problem. Sometimes it makes you think it's a lag switch. It's a type of lagging device. You know? Like, damn, we can never... The only reason why y'all won is because of the internet. The lagging, not because you got skills, okay? All them fucking snipers, I would've, I would've killed through all by myself. Face, like, run up to your face. <laughs> you know what it is. Lucky.
Yeah, so obviously I can't play right because I'm broadcasting the game. Ain't that some shit, huh? I did say I was gonna expose the devil, right? I already did that. Before I even started playing, I was talking to some people about how the devil is your ignorance and your, and your stupidity. You see what I just did there? I just lost my wording. Uh, that's the devil too. Trying to take over me, but I don't let him because I know what the devil is. He works in lies and secrets and shit like that. Too much arrogance, you become the devil right away, and you might not even notice it. And a little bit of envy, oh, he got a nice car, damn, I want one too. You become the devil. You don't even know it. <clears throat> women are the devil, by the way, too. By default, women are just chaotic and confusive. You can't talk to women. You know how they are. Some of them are cool, but just some of them. Women are all about their self-beauty, right? That's what the devil's all about. Women. <sighs> Women are deceitful and secretive. They work in secret. If a woman cheats on you, which she will, one day or another, she will cheat on you because women have an association, a secret alliance against men. And they only do it with men that know how to do it in secret. That know how to play the game. You know players? That's what a player is. But not everybody that's a player is a player. Some players tell, you know, they go up to a woman and tell them to their face, y'all want to fuck, what's up, what you want to do? Other players, they play the game. You know, they whisper at, at women. They speak to them the way that women like to be spoken 
to in secret ways you know you go up to them and instead of saying you know what you gotta say you say it but in secret ways so I say women are devils because of that who's dumber than a fucking female and there's a lot of smart women out there but still devilish in nature you know what I mean How do you recognize the devil? Like, there's, there's actually a couple of churches out there that know. But they don't tell everybody because if they did, the devil will make them look crazy, you know? You know how they do. Not all Christians are crazy. Some of them actually know what they're talking about. You know what I mean? How do you recognize the devil in a person? That jitter shit, that jitter shit, when somebody's speaking to you and they're not clear about what they're saying to you and they're just saying shit like they're mumbling shit, like, you know, they're saying shit and they just, you know, and they're saying shit in between. That's the devil. A person that's jittery and then they start making you confused and jittery too. Then you become stupid like them. You become the devil and you don't even realize it because some person was talking to you, cursing you to your face and you couldn't recognize it. So now you got the devil inside of you. What do you do? How do you get him out? God is the truth. God is the truth. Knowledge is power. And if you don't if you can't recognize when you're being taken over by by a foreign entity, by a foreign energy that makes you feel superior or whatever, like arrogant, or whatever, you're supposed to recognize it and cast it out right away. You're supposed to be aware of it, and you're not even supposed to cast it out. The moment you become aware of it, it runs, it, it flees. Your, your emotions, you no longer caught by the web of emotional outbreak. That's why women are so chaotic, because they're not in control of their emotions. Actually, some of them are, but they use their emotions and everything they know to manipulate men. You know what I mean? Because the secret society. Man. Women are supposed to be our friends. And yeah, I know men do it too. But you females are professionals at the art of staying quiet and speaking with your mind. I hate you. I fucking hate you for that. How dare you talk to me and not talk to me if you know what I mean. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, you love to, to fucking gossip, right? We can't, you can't come up to me and tell me to my face what it is that you're trying to tell me, right? I gotta go up to you and start whispering or type of shit. I'm over here fucking using sign language and shit, using all my senses to try to communicate with your dumb ass. Instead of just saying it straight up. I gotta be wondering what the fuck she trying to tell me. Oh, she wanna fuck, damn. Now I gotta find out a way of saying it in a way that we can do it and nobody knows that she's a fucking hoe. You fuck, oh, ah. You know what I mean? You like to fuck a lot on the low. I like to fuck a lot, but I don't care if people know. But it's different for women because if you fuck a lot and you admit it right away, you're a hoe. To me, when you do it on the low, use a hoe because you don't want people to know. How dare you fucking walk by me and say, "Come get some pussy" in a fucking way that I can't have, I can't fucking hardly hear it. What the wrong with you, bitch? Speak up. 
But the rules say that women can't speak to men, the men always gotta be chasing pussy. You see what I mean? And then we start chasing pussy. And they turn us into some fucking horny fucking dogs. You know what I mean? Some savages p- for pussy. Do anything, oh. You gotta kill, kill, kill for, for that pussy. Get money so you can get recognition and get and women like you. You know, because women like dangerous men, right? The more dangerous you are, the more they love you. The more of a dumbass you are, the more they love you. They the fucking devil. Making me change my fucking attitude, my, my nice attitude, my nice and, and you know honest self, so I could become a savage, so I could so I could so you could fucking like me? Like get the fuck out of here, bitch. Go to fucking hell with that shit. I'm myself. You don't like that shit? Oh well, then I'll get no pussy. Because I don't get no pussy because I'm myself. You see what I mean? Because they like fake motherfuckers. They like you to be a fucking clown and go up to them and start fake smiling and talking to them in the fucking language they like to be spoken to. The fucking hoes. You know all the problems will be solved? If women went up to, to men whenever a man decided to talk to her and told them straight up, listen, I know what you're thinking, I know what you want to do, and tell them either you like them or you don't, and he walks away or starts arguing, and you tell him, listen, you're arguing, I already told you I don't like you like that. You know how much problems they'll save? Oh, man. Because they know what men want. They know what we want. They know what we want, and there's a reason why we only want, or we only want one thing from women. It's because we can't get it. It's because we can't get it. That's why we're so fucking horny for pussy. Because they never want to satisfy us. It's all about the fucking quickie. I fucking hate quickies. I fucking hate that shit. I want to be home and fuck when I want to. Not be out there ch- fucking chasing pussy and fucking hoping that a fucking bitch likes me finally so I can get it on. That's too much to ask for, of course. You know, because if anything, I can just find a perfect woman for me and I don't have to be out there chasing pussy. But women don't work like that. You know, it's all about the chase for women. Oh, you gotta chase me, I'm too much. Look at me, I'm too cute. I can't be seen with an ugly guy. Oh my, is you the fucking devil, bitch? Go buy yourself a nice pair of fake boobs. Piece of shit. Go put on some more fake shit. Hope it makes you feel better. But then on top of all that fake shit and all that pretty shit, you gotta go up to this dumbass bitch and tell her how fucking cute she is so she can like you. Or whatever the fuck you gotta whisper at them. Now I guess if you whisper at them, it's more straight up because, you know, people don't know what's happening, right? But if you talk to them straight up, oh yeah, what is, you know, you gotta put on a fake smile, fake attitude, the way they like it, you know, because they won't talk to you otherwise, right? Otherwise, you ain't getting no pussy. You fucking loser. Where's your Ferrari at? I don't see no fucking shiny rock on my finger. And it better be expensive too. You broke motherfucker. I don't see no chain on your neck. What's wrong with you? Don't you see I'm high class? I'm too pretty for you. You see what I mean? And then you can't get no pussy. You talk to pretty girls and you don't know what to say. And they know what the fuck they... You, they know what you want. These fucking pretty bitches know exactly what you want. That's the reason why everybody treats them nice. It's because they want to fuck them. You pretty dumbass bitch. And I know it ain't your fault neither. You just born in this body. And he's just wreaking the benefits. Why not? 
If I, if I had all the right features in my face and body, I'd probably be living it, up, living it up too. Damn, I gotta spit. But I still hate you. I still hate you. Hello. Trust me, I hate you. My whole life I had to jerk off because I didn't know how to fucking talk to women. I see all the men do it all the time. Like, what the fuck is this nigga saying, man? He just went off with this bitch and I was trying to talk to her. She told me she had a boyfriend. Now she's walking off with the next nigga. What the fuck? What did he say to this bitch? Fucking hoe. And then he start hating them. Like, what the fuck did I do? Am I, is my fucking breast thinking? Is that, is that what it is? Am, am I not matching the right colors? fucking hate women for that shit but yeah that's part of the devil too as I was exposing it I'm just venting out my frustration because I can't get pussy the way I want to you know so I gave up on pussy no homo no no gay shit not like I went gay like hey you know fuck it I need to get it on anyway no fuck that shit that's not for me if you like that shit I understand you couldn't get enough pussy neither or maybe you just, you know, you were born like a man. Yeah, right. They just didn't teach you how to be a man. Maybe you didn't learn it. Maybe you didn't care for it. You just like being soft, right? Soft is peaceful. That's the devil too. You weak ass motherfucker. Wake the fuck up. You're too weak to be yourself. That's what happened. Are you acting like a fucking sissy? And like I said, I understand. Well, actually, I can't understand because I'm not gay. Whatever. I, let, me, let me get off that fucking subject, man. Fuck that shit. Women. I hate you. How dare you not talk to me when you like me? You know that... When a girl likes you, it's you who has to talk to her still, right? She could do all the googly eyes and throw her hair this way and put the booty, you know, bluff it up and bluff up her fucking titties and sh Like, what the fuck? Just talk to me. Come up to me and say something. But the problem is, after that, what the fuck are we going to say, right? Huh. Imagine that. Getting to the point. Now you got a pretty girl talking to you. What are you going to do, dude? She's so pretty, oh my god, I don't know what to say, I wanna fuck. <laughs> you know, when when I was little, I, I used to respect women so much because they were so pretty. Like, oh my god, she's so pretty. I, I can't even imagine how men do this to women. How do they put their thing in their mouth? Like, what the, I don't understand, they're so pretty. And that was it, I was respecting her too much. And I wasn't man enough to go up to them and be like, yo, I want some hair, yeah, what's up? Like, you know, the way they like it. Or whisper it the right way, you know? Oh, my fault for not having a Lambo. My fault for being too broke and not having enough muscles for you to like me. Pretty fucking bitch. Fuck out of here. What? How dare I say that? You know I can listen to you too, right? I say that because it's the truth. That's how men feel. That's why I say that. And I know women go through shit too, but you got it a lot easier than men do. You know that. Actually, if you're ugly, I sympathize with you. Because life is hard if you're ugly. Trust me. If you're ugly, ain't nobody gonna wanna open up the door for you. You know that. Ain't nobody gonna wanna talk to you and fuck you. And I spit again, come on. <clears throat> I understand, I feel like you. I'm not even ugly. I just don't know how to whisper at women. So they don't fuck me. You see what I mean? Because for women, it's all about that green. That's why they treat you like a princess growing up. Oh, my little princess. I'm going to give you everything. Then you get used to... 
Your fucking parents giving you everything and you never have to work for anything and then you fucking grow up useless. And then men gotta do everything for you because you can't do shit for yourself. Now you're a useless bitch. Now you can't do anything. You can't even cook. You're a princess, that's it, right? You're a princess that deserves everything because she's pretty, right? Fuck out of here. I ain't giving you shit. And if I ever marry you, you ain't getting shit from me neither. I work for that money. Actually, I don't even get married. Fuck that. Marriage is for dumbass people. It requires a contract between two people. Who says I need a contract to marry you or to be with you? You know what I mean? And then you gotta spend all this fucking money and go through all these fucking rituals to be with a fucking woman for the rest of your life. To say, hey, we're together. You can wear a fucking t-shirt that says we're together. And then people that are married fucking cheat on each other. What the fuck? Breach your fucking contract, motherfucker. No wonder women can take everything. Now I see. You breach your fucking rules, motherfucker. But then she cheated too. She's not gonna tell you. Hmm. <laughs> I can't say what. I mean what I say and I say what I want. Okay, I don't I, I don't actually always mean what I say. Let me not get ahead of myself. Sometimes I say shit that I don't mean. That's rarely I say some shit. No, time out. I always say what I mean. That's why people get offended. Sometimes I say shit that I don't mean because I don't think it all the way through. That's rarely. And then I say shit that I don't mean or for that. But normally, yeah, I always say what I want. This fucking game is so slow. I don't even want to play this shit. I just want to talk to you and wake you up in ways that you can see and, and understand. You know what I mean? This, vi this video is going to be like an hour long of me kicking ass and being slow and being lagged out. And then me talking to you. Waking you up. <clears throat> life is all about, life is all about the truth. Lies is a, is a consequence of the truth. The moment the truth was created... Lies were created too. Get it? By default. Automatically. You was able to lie. But nobody knew that until the devil found that out. And he became the biggest liar ever. You know, you know the story. You know the story. Out. Yeah. Oye, nigga. Que lo quento. Míralo. Así que mírala. Tócala. Like I was saying. I'll be back in a little bit. Let me see if the game's still lagging. I might end the video without saying anything, by the way. Peace. Maybe.
Oh, the mic is on. I forgot. I'm over here thinking and telling you things with my mind. I forget, man. Sometimes I forget. What you want me to do, man? If this shit starts lagging again while I'm playing, I'm off.
Objective Delta has been neutralized. 